Let's talk about autoresponder emails. Say you go on vacation and an important client emails you and they cannot reach you because you're on vacation and they will not know that you're on vacation and they will be thinking, what happened? Did or not forget about them? But in reality, you're just taking a break. You're, you're somewhere else. You cannot respond. For that reason, you create autoresponder emails. That's exactly what we're going to do. But the magical thing is that how do you create custom autoresponder emails only for important clients? And maybe in that email, you can say, hey, just call me up, but you do not want to share your personal phone number with everybody else who emails you during a period of time. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create those custom autoresponder emails. And we're going to be using a really cool Chrome extension to automate your workflows. Let's dive right into it. Obviously, I had to look at Tim Ferriss for inspiration for how a good autoresponder email would look like. He sends it to everybody and shares his personal phone number, which I probably wouldn't want to do. And he says, hey, I check emails twice a day. So let's copy his template over here. And uh, we're going to go to Gmail and I'm going to show you how to set up the conventional autoresponder email. So let's click on here, subject, all settings. And here we have in general, we have vacation responder. We can turn it on, say when, you can even create a period of time. Okay, let's go on vacation for exactly one week. The subject is, sorry, can't chat. And then let's just paste Tim Ferriss's response over here. It's gray, don't like gray, don't like italics. Okay, so there we have it. And when you save changes, uh, let's see what happens. And it looks like at the bottom, you can only send that autoresponder email to people who are in your contacts. I don't keep contacts in my Gmail. I think it's a waste of time. So uh, this part doesn't matter. Yes, so there's that email. And I've just gotten an autoresponse right there. You can't see it, but there's not the response. So. This worked, but again, you only have two options, to send it to everybody or to send it only to your contacts, which I do not like. And now let's do exactly the same thing, but create custom autoresponders. In order to do this, we're going to be using the Chrome extension called Bardeen.ai. It's a workflow automation tool. So I'm going to open it up and here you can create an automation. So on the left side, you have different apps that you can integrate. Here I have Gmail integrated. And then I'm going to scroll down to find a trigger. So this is a when action. So it says when email is received, I'm going to pick this. Then here you have different arguments, the subject line, the sender, the recipient. You can technically say, hey, when an email arrives from a specific person and just list all of your coworkers, for example, or all of your clients, uh, that's, that's fine, that's no problem. But you can also do something slightly more sophisticated. You can say, hey, instead, I want to add a conditional block over here, and I'm going to check that trigger action when email is received, let's do that. I'm going to check the sender, so the from variable. I'm going to say, oh, when the sender contains a specific domain, so in my case, it's going to be bardeen.ai. So if one of my colleagues sends me an email, click on done, if this condition is correct, then I'm going to perform another action. So new action, pick Gmail again. Let's scroll down and find a reply to an email. And then let's pick that email that we had in the trigger. So the trigger is the email. And then we're going to check the condition and reply to the email from that trigger. Okay. And the body of the email is going to be, hey, coworker, I am on vacation, but you can call me if urgent. And then just give a phone number. So there we have it. I'm going to confirm this. You can also CC somebody, blind copy somebody, or you can send yourself a notification of some sorts. It can be an SMS notification. You can add as many actions as you want over here. It's frankly up to you, which makes it super, super cool because it unlocks a lot of other automations. I'm going to click on done and give this automation name, coworker autoresponder. Okay, let's click on save. And then you can enable this automation just like this or disable it by toggling this automation off. But the last thing we want to do is want to test out the automation and let's send an email to Bardeen Demo. Can we chat? Let's add some dummy text, send it through and go back to our main account over here and wait until the email arrives. Okay, so here is our email and then 
just a few seconds later, we're going to see that auto response. I'm going to refresh the page. Boom, and here we have our response over here. And if you want to see all responses from that automation, you can open Bardeen over here and click on show activity and see activities over here. And this is exactly how you send custom autoresponder emails. For more cool tutorials just like this one, make sure to subscribe to this channel and I'm going to see you in the next video. Cheers.